morning welcome to another video today as you will have seen from the title before you clicked onto this video i am sorting out my shoes it's long overdue i have a lot of shoes i do get rid of shoes quite frequently i feel like but they seem to build up again i buy a lot from charity shops and um, but yeah i just feel like i have a lot and um I feel like I need to go through them and sort them out. It's a good time of year. We're meant to be transitioning into summer. I almost feel like we've barely transitioned into spring yet and we're midway through May. But hey ho, let's go and look at where I keep them. I'm lucky enough to have a very nice shoe cupboard in my dressing room here. Um, and this is my shoes. I know, there's a lot. There's that saying, isn't there, that you... Um, <laughs> expand to fit the space available to you which I think is very true because not only is that full like that we then have all my boots in the bottom of here so I guess the first job is to get everything out put it in one place and have a look at it all together and see where we're at when I actually take it out of the cupboard. Right, I've put boots over here and I feel like boots is gonna be a good place to start. That is all of my boots. There's two rows, I don't know how well you can see that. I'm gonna start with, <laughs> normally when I'm decluttering and looking to get rid of stuff, see I'm gonna open the window, it's a little bit warm in here. Normally, when I'm decluttering and looking to get rid of stuff and slim things down, so to speak, um, I would say if I haven't worn something in the last year, it's got to go. However, the last year has been a bit odd, hasn't it? It's been a bit of an odd one. So that rule sort of doesn't count because we haven't done an awful lot, have we? That doesn't involve sitting on the sofa at home. Hopefully that's going to change in the next year. But um, that rule is a bit difficult to work with in t at the moment, um, as I'm sure you can appreciate, or you are finding as well, no doubt. So I'm starting with two pairs of black knee-high boots. Um, these ones, I've just noticed, have lost half a heel. Um, I like these ones. They've got a little thin heel, but not too high. Um, more of an evening boot, but I do wear those, or I did wear those when I used to go out quite a lot. Like, yeah, I think I'm going to get those rehealed and keep them. They're a keeper, even though I haven't worn them in the last year. These ones are fairly new with a chunkier heel, a bit more of a sort of contemporary look. Um, I'm definitely keeping those because I've not had those for very long. So they are a keep, right. These I've had for eons. They're nice, I like them, they're useful, they're comfortable, they're kickers, um, but they are, they're pull-on and they're quite narrow and I have quite a high instep and they are an absolute bugger to get onto my feet. So I'm gonna say goodbye to those, those are going. By the way, when I say things are going, I either sell them or pass them on to charity or take them to a clothing bank. Nothing ever goes in the bin that's, unless it's only fit for the bin. <laughs> these little red boots, I really like. I love the little heel on these. These are from Primark. 
Um, I don't really have anything that goes with them. I did have something and then I don't have it anymore. Um, and I definitely haven't worn them in the last year. Also, they have torn a little on the front there. So I think, I think I'm gonna let those go. Um, I enjoyed them while I had them and yeah, I have worn them a bit, just checking the heels. So yeah, I think I'll let those go. These boots I showed you in a haul before Christmas. Um, I haven't actually worn these yet. These were gifted, um, but I do really like them. I'm gonna hang on to those until next winter just because I really feel like I will be able to get some wear out of those. These ones, as you know, I've worn a lot. They were shown twice, I think, in my recent outfits of a April outfits video. I will link that up here if you haven't seen it. So those are a keeper. Again, those were gifted. Um, these were a recent purchase on Vinted. I think I showed you in a weekly vlog. I really like these. Um, they're pavers. Nice little heel. I love the fur. Cuff. Cuff, do you call it that? I don't know. But um, they will be great for next winter. They were so cheap. They were like four quid on Vinted. I'm liking Vinted for buying at the moment. These were fairly recent. These were gifted from New Look. Um, a lovely, chunky ankle boot. Um, definitely keeping those. I have got them towards the end of winter, so I haven't worn them much yet. These I remember discussing in my last um, shoe declutter video. I don't know how long ago that was. I think probably at least a year ago. Um, these are new look, and the heel is just a little bit uncomfortable, uncomfortably high for me these days. Um, they're also mid calf. I wore a mid-calf boot in a try-on video at some point and several of you said it wasn't a good look. It cuts, when you're short, cuts you off in all the wrong places a mid-calf boot. It may, it doesn't elongate you. So it's kind of put me off mid-calf boots a little bit because, because I agreed with what you said. I thought, I thought it was dead right when I looked at it. Very useful doing try-on videos. You get interesting feedback like that that does make you think so i think i'm going to let go of these ones time to go these little ankle boots are from june i've only had them a couple of years but i wear them a lot i find them really useful definitely keeping and these mustardy colored ankle boots are from primark again i do still wear those quite a bit and i can see them still being useful in my wardrobe so going to keep those as well I've also got a pair of boots on that I won't show you that I, are the ones I bang on about all the time. My Marks and Spencer real leather six pound charity shop bargain flat black ankle boots. Definitely keeping those. Um, these were a charity shop buy. Um, I think they were four pounds or something. That no, they weren't. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong ones. Let's redo that. These were a charity shop by recently. I quite they're like a shoe boot. I haven't actually worn these, but I really like them and I'm gonna keep them because I feel like I will wear them. These were Oh they haven't got a price on, but yeah, they have yeah, four pounds. Um but yes, yeah, so they're from the brand Shelley's. Don't know if I said that, but yeah, I like those, gonna keep those. These are from Evans. I really liked these when I bought them and I'm not sure I do so much now but I feel like I ought to give them one more winter. I haven't worn them loads um, so yeah I'm, I'm gonna am I am I am I am I ever gonna wear them I don't know um, oh it's difficult um, yeah I'm gonna keep those for one more winter and these are from New Look with a big chunky heel um, and zips down the outside these ones have which i think is quite interesting um they're a bit knackered on the toe there i think maybe these ones are gonna go feel like it might be time for these to depart now final pair of boots another charity shop buy these are clark's just little ankle boots with a sort of cuban heel um these definitely going to keep i wear them a lot or have worn them a lot um yeah useful little ankle boot right that's boots done that wasn't too bad was it feel like we might need to speed up for shoes though <laughs> right i've split these into categories to hopefully make it quicker let's quickly go through these these are Haviana's flip flops um this is like holiday shoes shoes that i would only wear on holiday um 
Caviana's, a bit discoloured, but love those. But I'm going to keep them. I could probably do with getting treated myself to another pair, really, that are slightly less discoloured. But we'll wait and see whether we go on any holidays this year. These were just from George. These are a lovely little Diamante sort of encrusted sandal, but um, I've had them for years, I think. Not Diamante, rhinestones, aren't they? I think they can go. They are disappearing. Um, these are from Primark. I'm not sure I've ever worn these. No, I haven't. Um, just thought they would be a nice... I'm not even sure they fit me. I need to try those to see if they fit. Otherwise, they can go. Um, these are Primark flip-flops. Um, yeah, I'll keep those. These are Kate Spade eBay bargain flip-flops, which are a little bit past their best on the underside. But nobody sees that bit, do they? So um, they can stay. And these, I can't remember where they came from. But again, just a nice sort of slip-on shoe. Uh, sandaly shoe. So yes, I'm keeping those for possibly replacing the Havianas, we shall see. And... Um, that test trying the Primark ones to make sure that they fit. Okay, this next section is sort of sandals of all descriptions, flat and heeled sort of thing. Um, I don't know why these are in there. They're not, they shouldn't be there. Right, let me, I'm gonna come into shot actually and go through these. Struggling a little bit with the light, so um, hopefully it won't be too bad. These I love, I've had them for years, they're a second hand buy, um, but I do wear them quite a lot, so they are staying there, Marks and Spencers. These are very useful, but a little bit high now and slightly past their best. The patent on the back is discoloured. Again, they're Marks and Spencers, again, they were a second hand buy. I think I'm going to say goodbye to those ones. These I've not had for long, June espadrille wedges, really useful colour, um, definitely keeping. These are Matalan papaya, again a really nice neutral colour, this sort of khaki green suede. I don't, I think I might have worn them once, but definitely keeping. They're a nice neutral holiday shoe, those. Quite a shame to show you these ones. These are pavers, flat sandals that I have had for a very long time. I've tried and tried to get the same ones again because they are super comfortable. Can't get them, but they are going. It's time they left me. These are a recent charity shop buy. Um, they were £6.50. I really like them. The brand is Lotus. Um, I feel like I could get some good wear out of these in the summer. Um, if only I get to go some places. So they are staying. These are next sort of medium heel wedges. I love the bit on the front. Um, again, I've had them for quite a long time, but um, I really do like them, so I'm going to keep them for a bit longer. These are new to me, but secondhand pavers, leather sandals. I don't know if they are leather, actually, I'm saying they're leather. They look like leather. Yeah, they are leather. Um, pink, just, um, they're sort of granny sandals, aren't they? But they do look very comfortable <laughs> for the summer. So for sort of when I'm going out doing a lot of walking, I thought they would be good. I, they were recently from Vinted. These were an absolutely bargainous eBay buy, um, like wedges, <laughs> sandals, snake skin. I think they were about seven quid about three years ago. They're really, really super lightweight and really comfortable as well. They don't rub, which you would expect with cheap shoes, wouldn't you? But um, yeah, keeping those. And then finally, I think these were from last year, Dorothy Perkins um, in the sale. Can't remember what I paid for them, but rose gold, sparkly, fab for holiday evenings. Definitely keeping those. Next, just a very quick look at evening shoes because I've only got three pairs. I'm going to keep all three. Only got three pairs. Um, these sort of neutral champagne. -y. Next, um, high heeled sandals. These remind me of my cruise. Both these pairs and these sort of more rose goldy new look. Um, these have got a closed in toe. Oh, happy days on my cruise. And then these sort of lower heel new look with diamante heel. I love those. I've tried to get another pair of those for when these are past their best because they're that fake leather patent stuff that doesn't last forever. But again, can't find these. Keep looking on eBay, but um, yeah, all three of those are staying. Slippers, I have two pairs of slippers. They're both staying. These are officially the best slippers in the world. They are from Amazon. And if you're fairly new here, I wanged on about these at great length. 
um, last year. They even made it to my favourite Amazon purchases of 2020. I'll link them below again if you're interested. They come in loads of different colours. But I love them because they're super warm and cosy inside. But they have this sort of quite um, ridged... What am I trying to say here? Quite decent ridged sole for going outside if you need to just pop outside briefly. They won't get soaking wet. They're really good. And then I've got these just little pull-on ones that are good for travelling if you need to take some slippers with you somewhere because they just fold up small and go in your suitcase or your travel bag or whatever. Right, we are off the tripod for this next section and I'm hoping to whiz, whiz, whiz through this. This is flat sort of everyday shoes, not those ones because we've already talked about those. These aren't very flat but they're fairly new. I bought those when the, do you remember my trip to Matalan? The, d the day it opened after the first lockdown, I was so excited I bought those that day. Um, I really like those, nice and neutral, decent heel, um, comfortable. Um, let's have a look. These are a charity shop, but I haven't bought the, worn these yet, but they're brand new. £4.50 they are from Bon Marche, I think, originally. Um, definitely going to keep them. They're a useful colour, and I feel like I might get some wear out of those. These were a recent charity shop buy and are ugly AF, but very, very comfortable. Um, these are Pavers, recent vinted buy. Um, went a bit mad on vinted recently for shoes. Um, also, these are the best, it, these were slightly too big when I got them. These are the best insoles ever. Um, I got these from Amazon, I'll link them below. Um, I just needed to buy insoles because they were too big, but honestly, they are so comfortable. They're memory foam and they're not the cheapest insoles ever. I think they're like six quid or something, I can't remember. I'll link them below. Um, and they're so comfortable. So those are staying. These are Primark. Um, they're not comfortable. Um, yeah, that, they're, they're going to go. They're not comfortable. These I've had for ages. They're very pretty. Don't really wear them much, but perhaps I will in the summer, maybe a little bit. Oh, they've lost a couple of stones as well out of there. No, I think they can go. These uh, I bought to sell originally. They're Marks and Spencers, and they're nice little shoes, but then I realised that they were all, you know, how they go a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, basically the inside is rotting away type of thing. So I put them in my cupboard thinking I might wear them, but they're not really my style. So, yeah, they can go. Um, these I've had for ages. Um, very comfortable. haven't worn them much. I forgot I had them, actually. So this has been worth doing. So, yeah, they're staying. These were a recent purchase, a vintage purchase, I think. I'm not sure how much I like these. Um, they can stay for the moment. These are from Next. I think they're brand new. Yeah, they, they look brand new. I bought them for a charity shop. Um, haven't worn them yet. Again, they can stay. Um, these were Matalan last year. Um, flat little slingbacks. Again, haven't worn them. They can stay. These, um, I've never worn. I like them. I really like them. They're Clark's wide foot ballet pumps in that sort of pony skin stuff really like them but haven't ever worn them so i think they can go and then finally these are my sort of current everyday navy blue debenham's good for the sole shoes i will miss that brand now it's gone but um yeah they can stay we have made it to the final section which is somewhat bizarrely trainers and heels um right let's have a look these, I bought these to go to Las Vegas for comfortable shoes um, and they were very comfortable. They're from New Look. Um, I, yeah, they're going, I think. I don't wear them anymore. These are a recent buy. Very nice, but hurt the backs of my ankles. I need to um, wear them in a little bit more. Primark, they're staying. I've also got my Skechers trainers that I wear for walking. They are downstairs because they're dirty because I went out walking yesterday in them. So they are staying, but they're not here because to let you know about those and these are my LK Bennett just little black patent heels they're definitely staying um, sort of Marks and Spencer's slightly smaller heel than the LK Bennett ones kitten heels they are staying and these I like for an evening sort of look with tights and a dress or with um, trousers I think they're really um, versatile little suede sort of shoe boot type things they are staying these are on eBay by their tenor they're ballet but I just have not worn those at all. I think they can probably go back on eBay. Do you know, I really like them as well, so I don't know why I haven't worn them. I think maybe they're a bit businessy for me. 
I think the block heel is just a little bit businessy. I don't have any call for that sort of shoe anymore. Yeah, they can go into the pile. Um, these are June. I bought these charity shopping in Bristol with Carla. I love these. I've only worn them once. They're definitely Carter Bar shoes. I wouldn't want to be walking further than the from the car to the bar uh, or the restaurant or whatever. But um, I do love them. And I think I might wear these for our uh, silver wedding evening, which is coming up soon. So yes, they are staying. And that brings us to the end of my shoe declutter. I'm going to put everything back. Yeah, I'll just show you what I'm getting rid of. That's the big pile to go. So I feel like I've done quite well there. Um, I'm going to put everything back in the cupboard so I can show you it all nice and tidy. Oh, the satisfaction of a job well done. I do like this feel. I've also discovered you can fit way more in if you turn one around on each shelf. I quite like the look of that as well find that very satisfying and I've got two shelves two and a half shelves empty at the bottom there look ready to fill up with more shoes no I really mustn't and then I've just got a few pairs of boots in there now I think there's three pairs or four pairs in there and then I've pulled out these three pairs to sell um, two pairs for the dustbin and this pile for the charity shop always feels nice decluttering things doesn't it I love the feeling. Um, right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Hope I've inspired you to declutter something, maybe. Um, or perhaps all your decluttering is done. Now we've been in lockdown for so long, perhaps you've decluttered and you're already living a minimalist lifestyle. Um, I don't think I'll ever be any kind of minimalist. I think that's fair to say. But it does it's good for the soul, a bit of decluttering. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.